So why do I focus on air pollution? Well, it's, it's a big contributor to ill health in the UK and around the world. I was really surprised by this number. 10,000 deaths in London are attributed to poor air quality. Um, and it's, you, might, you might think of an image like this of thick smog, but uh, in a lot of cases you can't see the pollution and it's still uh, damaging to your health. Uh, so there have been many companies that started looking into this on a large scale. For, so for instance, um, looking at how the air quality in, in London as a city varies, that doesn't really tell you about your own exposure. So my project aims to make, um, my project aims to provide data that's more personalized so you can get an idea of, um, say when you're walking to work, what kind of pollutants you're um, being influenced by, really. Uh, in addition, I'm trying to make a device that's lightweight and affordable, because a lot of the options at the moment are very high in cost, even just for monitoring the pollutants in your home. Um, so yeah, so what am I using to do this? I've got a little device down here. I'll show you what it's made up with in a minute, but it's just a few little bits and pieces. Uh, I've got the two sensors. I've got a PMS5003, which is measuring particulates, and then the BME, which is just for temperature, humidity, and pressure readings. So here's the hardware. It's all based around the Raspberry Pi Zero, which is a low-cost uh, board, and it's just using a Python program to collect data from the two sensors and then transfer this over cellular using the hologram Nova stick, which is there. And it came to about 60 pounds. Uh, I've got a hack to write up on all of the hardware, but that doesn't include the Home Assistant integration just yet. So this is the IoT integration. So the data is collected. Uh, it's then transmitted over 3G to the hologram cloud. And then um, I'm performing a REST API query from Home Assistant running in my house at home. And then that's collecting the data and uh, means I can view it in my Home Assistant instance anywhere in the world. So this is how I currently have it set up in Home Assistant, with one of these nice cards. Um, I can see all the different readings pretty clearly. Uh, I've got PM1, 2.5, and 10, which is the up to 10 micron uh, pollutants for particulate levels. And in order to do this, I had to write a custom component in, uh, for Home Assistant. And this, this is just a small Python script that allows you to uh, integrate additional functionality. So I've done, can I carry on for a bit? <laughs> uh, so I've done, I've done some analytics with the data so far. No, I have to stop. OK. Oh. Uh, so yeah, I've done some analytics. Unfortunately, I've run out of time. But um, I'll be happy to talk about it with anyone if you're interested. Uh, just a few graphs showing some uh, changes to the air quality. And I get notifications on my phone. And in the future, I hope to make a graph so that I can see uh, different pollutants around a city, uh, say when you're walking to work, and do a predictive model.